To download the free DCM Link software, navigate to emerson.com slash DCM Link. Then click on Download Software, fill out the required information, and click Submit. You should receive an authorization email within 24 hours with your download link. Now that you've downloaded the DCM Link software, let's discuss how to connect your devices to DCM Link. There are three available methods. The first method is via wired Modbus or HART. This is accomplished by using an RS-485 serial to USB converter for Modbus, a USB HART interface modem for HART communication, or a standard twisted pair cable. For wireless HART connection, you will use a wireless thumb adapter and gateway. Or you could connect via Bluetooth technology, standard on the XTE 3000. For the Bluetooth connection, you need a Bluetooth-enabled laptop or tablet paired to a connecting device. The step-by-step -step setup instructions are detailed in the user's guide, available on the Emerson product page or embedded within DCM Link. DCM Link was built based on Fisher Valve Link. Our developers worked very closely with the Fisher team so that both softwares have a very similar look and feel, navigation, and functionality. Just looking at these two interface screenshots, one can say they are almost twins. When reviewing the DCM Link capabilities, you may notice that the main functionalities are well aligned with Fisher Valve Link as well. Whether we are talking about simple configuration, monitoring features, or more complex applications such as Snap-on or DTM. Here on the left, the navigation pane shows the identified tag is connected via Bluetooth. Double-clicking on the tag will open the dashboard. The recent software upgrade features a user-friendly interface. It is much more intuitive and contains call-to-action navigation throughout different screens and menus. DCM Link allows remote actuator configuration and fine-tuning without the use of local interface, which can be helpful when the units are in harsh environments or hard-to-reach locations. Let's open Detailed Setup from the main toolbar or the Navigation Pane submenu. All parameters are classified by function and grouped in tabular format, facilitating easy and fast access. You can go one by one and configure each setting by clicking the blue left pointing arrow, which will write data from dataset to actuator, or the right pointing arrow from actuator to dataset. Dataset here is a digital form of a configuration saved on a computer. There is also the ability to write or read the entire configuration with just one click on the large arrow in the top right corner. The bottom panel is intended to manage datasets as well as load and export configuration files. DCM Link status monitoring is accessible through the main toolbar or the navigation pane submenu. It is considered as the first stage of preliminary diagnostics, which provides real-time screening of actuator operational performance, its working conditions, and status of all parameters. By clicking the Start Polling button, DCM Link will start reading data from the actuator. It will create a data set, which can be stored and reviewed in detail later. The first and main tab in the monitoring category is the dashboard. It is a graphical visualization of control system commands, which include the following fields. Actuator status on the top informs about device condition, good or bad, as well as operating mode, local or remote. Travel and torque indicators in the middle are shown in percentage of travel and percentage of maximum torque value respectively. And finally, their live trend on the bottom, plotted against the elapsed time. On the Alarms tab, there are up to 30 different alarms that can be reported. As you can see, each alarm has status, setting, and in case an alarm is raised, DCM Link will describe a problem and provide a recommended action. There are fail, maintenance, and off-spec alarms. Now, let's watch Roman simulate an alarm by disengaging the drive sleeve from the motor shaft. Roman will move the valve by pressing the close command button on the actuator's control panel. 
As the valve is moving, he will pull the lever down to disengage the drive sleeve from the motor shaft. Now let's go back and look at the XTE 3000 status inside DCM Link. The mid travel alarm is raised. The reason valve does not move in presence of a closed control. Recommended action. Check status of actuator and valve mechanical parts, which indeed is accurate considering disengagement or failure of mechanical components. Moving on to warnings. These are set up the same way. There are 13 performance and operational condition warnings. Now we are moving to one of the most important fundamental diagnostic features, torque profiling. DCM Link is able to run and archive torque curves, perform and schedule partial stroke tests, and compare the actuator's current performance versus its historical records. Based on resulting data, users can determine the optimal time to schedule a valve maintenance. The first step would be to set a baseline, also called a reference curve, at the earliest stage of valve operation during integration or commissioning. It can be saved in the actuator memory and pulled out at any time for performance analysis or saved in a DCM link data set on a PC. Here is an example of reference curves in both open and closed directions taken from an off-service gate valve. During operation, DCM link users can upload from an XTE actuator the last 100 recorded torque curves in each direction. Torque readings are in 1% increments of travel. For instance, let's upload one of the latest curves, number 99. At first glance, you would probably not notice a difference until you overlay it with the reference curve. The overlay function allows for comparison of actual curves to the baseline or to other curves recorded with different date stamps. Let's create an overlay plot. First, we select the reference, then the curve number 99. Now we can observe that the actual torque in gray increased compared to the baseline by approximately 15% throughout the entire stroke. This would be a good indication that the valve needs to be checked. From an investigation, a dried out stem due to the lack of lubrication was discovered, causing increased friction. Analysis of valve torque profiling can provide insights into general valve health and condition of its components, such as stem, valve packing, and seat. This can be very crucial for maintenance planning in order to avoid unplanned shutdowns. Now let's look at the last feature we will discuss, partial stroke test. DCM Link allows you to configure and execute partial stroke test diagnostics. The first step would be to configure PST parameters. Click on Configure, PST section. Here you can define the test mode, auto or manual. How often you desire to run the test, let's say every 100 days. The travel can be set up to 40%. We will enter 30%. The pause, five seconds. And other parameters related to the PST travel and over travel thresholds. Now going back to the PST curve function, we can start diagnostics by selecting either to create a baseline or to run a normal PST test. As an example, we will conduct the normal PST test from fully closed position, 0%. From our previous settings, the actuator will open the valve to 30%, wait five seconds, and return to the initial position. While the test is running, let me show you other capabilities. The XTE 3000 actuator can record up to 16 PST curves in addition to the standard 100 torque curves. 
Similarly to torque curves, you have the ability to set a reference overlay comparing actual data to the baseline or to other PST curves recorded with different date stamps. Now let's pull the previous reference from the actuator and overlay it with the last curve, number 16. Click on Upload Reference Profile, then Add Overlay. Select the curve number 16 and view overlay. As you can see, both data sets have the same shape. We can conclude that no abnormal activities are taking place for the given case. However, with continuous valve operations with time, you may start seeing changes in stroking times, raising a flag to plan a maintenance event. There you have it. You now have an overview of DCM Link's capabilities, how to diagnose, configure, and monitor your Bettis Intelligent actuators, such as the XTE 3000. There is no doubt that diagnostic capabilities of these products can add great value at no cost. Again, DCM Link's solo basic package is free and can be downloaded from the Emerson website. With fundamental knowledge and little experience, DCM Link can be a great assistant in making measured and intelligent decisions, planning maintenance and troubleshooting issues, optimizing performance, and increasing the lifetime of your MOV assets.